So it's a rainy day here in the big land. I figured today would be a good day to take care of the bear fat that I kept off the bear from last week. I'm going to render it out, uh, keep some for cooking, maybe make some hand cream with it. I don't know. I got a friend of mine who does that, and we're going to see how that goes. I don't know if she'll sh share her secrets with me or not, but that might be another video coming up. There was a lot of fat on that bear, and I kept about 8 or 10 pounds of it there. I couldn't keep it all. I didn't have use for it. I wish I would have had space to keep it all, but I didn't. Anyway, we're going to render out that much and see what it gives us. So I'm just cutting it up into some smaller pieces. I'm going to throw it in a pot, put a little light heat on it for a while. Probably going to have to do a couple batches because there's so much of it and I'd rather not use a great big pot. I think you got a little bit more control over a smaller one. I don't do this this often because we get a lot of, uh, we usually hunt spring bears and uh, there's usually not that much fat on them. So most of it just gets thrown. But uh, there was so much nice looking fat on this guy. I just, I had to keep it. To give you an idea of the amount of fat that was on this bear, that's one chunk off of the round of his hind. I just chopped it off and threw it in a bag and threw it in the freezer. Uh, got it out there today and we're going to render it down. But I just, I can't get over it. That's one big chunk. That's how thick it was. So I got the time lapse going on the bear fat. I'm going to cook up my first feed off this bear. I got a piece of backstrap. I fried up uh, old school bit onions and a little bit of the bear fat that we got rendering out salt and pepper and just go old school with it. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get this all cut up and thrown in the pan. Clean the back strap up pretty good while I was uh, before I was packaging it. I'm gonna haul just a little bit more of that uh, fat line and silver skin off of it. But for the most part, it's ready to go in the pan.
So I got my first feed of the bear all fried up, made a little gravy in a pan, onions, bread and butter, real simple. Excited to eat it. Uh, I got the fat rendering off over on the stove. It's been a productive rainy day in the big land. I always make sure I cook my bear all the way through. I don't eat medium rare, always well done. Always hit at least 165 on the internal temperature. Just takes care of anything that might be there. We got some of the best bears in the world, in my opinion here, and it's just delicious. So there we go, three liters of rendered bear fat. One small jar goes to Alicia to make some hand cream out of, I hope. The other one I'm going to try to do some hand cream. And the large jar, I think that's going to come into play Canada Day. We usually have a poutine fest and I got something special in mind for that one. <laughs> 